Warzone 2 might have a release date and Warzone 1 is getting accused of plagiarism. Release dates for Call of Duty Warzone 2 and World of Warcraft Dragonflight have allegedly been leaked. The since deleted image appears to show internal documentation related to readiness for various upcoming Activision Blizzard launches, such as the recently announced release date of the pre-patch for World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Though random images posted to Reddit shouldn't be accepted as fact, there is at least some evidence to back this particular one up. For example, the aforementioned release date for Wrath of the Lich King Classic's pre-patch. Though Blizzard has since announced the official date, this image was on Reddit several hours before Blizzard's announcement. If the image is indeed legitimate, World of Warcraft players can expect to have their hands on the game's new expansion Dragonflight on November 28th, with the game's pre-patch arriving roughly a month earlier on October 25th. Meanwhile, Call of Duty Warzone 2 could be launching November 16th, several weeks after the release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. In addition to Warzone 2, the document lists a release for October 27th for something called COD Cortez, which may be the heavily rumored and seemingly confirmed DMZ mode. It's best to take this leak, if that indeed is what it is, with a grain of salt. In other Call of Duty news, Activision has announced a new pre-order bonus for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and it's a first of its kind offer for the franchise. Everyone who digitally pre-orders the game will get access to its campaign mode up to a week early, starting on October 20th. Pre-ordering Modern Warfare 2 also gets you early access to the multiplayer beta, which begins September 16th on PlayStation, before coming to Xbox and PC later. And now let's talk about a little Call of Duty drama. Activision has released the new Doomsayer Operator skin in Call of Duty Warzone and Vanguard, but players are already pointing out major similarities with artwork from Dr. Disrespect's upcoming Dead Drop game. Dead Drop is a vertical extraction shooter currently in development from Dr. Disrespect and the Midnight Society studio. And the community was involved early on with some people earning or purchasing Dead Drop Founders passes to acquire one of 10,000 variants, which are unique in-game characters randomly assigned to Founders. Oddly enough, Call of Duty's Doomsayer skin features a design that looks much like former Infinity War developer Robert Bowling's Dead Drop variant. While it could be a coincidence and completely unrelated, Bowling has since made a vague tweet that says, quote, at least name it after me. So what do you think? Big coincidence or what? Also, Warzone this year, I was convinced it would be next spring. Also, let me not get ahead of myself. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. We don't know if it's 100% true that it's dropping in November, but if it does, like, I'll gladly be wrong, but like, I was so convinced. 